Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. Continuing my series on medications that I really don't like seeing used in an older population, let's move on to the second medication. My first video was on hydrochlorothiazide, thiazide diuretics, and the link to that video is down below. The second medication that I see an awful lot of problems with is gabapentin also known as Neurontin. Millions of people across the Western world are on this medication, ranging from very young to very old. And it's commonly prescribed for nerve type pain, what we call neuropathic pain. And it is also less commonly prescribed for seizures. And this medication typically starts off at a low dose, maybe 100 milligrams, two or three times daily, and then it can often be weaned up to sometimes doses as high as 900 milligrams three times daily. And the reason I don't like this medication, especially in an older population, is that I frequently see side effects, ranging from mild to severe drowsiness, feeling very tired and sleepy, to cognitive impairment, and it can even contribute towards gait instability and falling. And I can't tell you the number of times I've seen an older patient and I scan down their medication list, which is often sadly 20 or 30 medications, half of them they don't even need. And I see gabapentin right there at a whopping dose. And if I had an older relative on this medication, I would be trying to wean them off it. In fact, I have older relatives who have taken this medication and they've suffered side effects. And it's important to emphasize that everybody is different. Maybe there are people out there who have taken gabapentin for a long time and they've had no issues whatsoever, but I have seen these issues too many times for me to make this number two on my list of medications I don't like in people over the age of 65. So I cannot emphasize enough, never stop a medication abruptly. If you're on gabapentin or you have a loved one on gabapentin, it has to be weaned down very slowly under medical supervision. If you suspect that you or a loved one is suffering with these side effects, then please speak to your doctor about de-escalating this medication, which may well be contributing. Thanks everyone for listening. Feel free to comment down below. Do you have any experience with gabapentin or do you have a loved one who has suffered with a side effect due to gabapentin? Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out my health academy and my uncensored platform. Those links are down below, as is the link to my free newsletter. If you're not already subscribed to that, please do so. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. That really helps with the algorithm and getting these videos shared as widely as possible. Take care everyone and we will speak again very soon.